the great expanse of the Pacific Ocean. Coming into view, one of the world's most famous resorts, Acapulco, Mexico. Many resorts throughout the world used Acapulco as their model. Oh, I had no idea. There's the beach. Oh, look at all the hotels. Ah, there's someone having some boating fun. Is that a fishing boat? I can see people swimming. They're getting started early. Good morning! What surprises does Acapulco have in store? I'll start my walk from the beach. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's 8.30. Uh, they must be the people I saw from the boat. Good morning. They're taking it nice and easy. Hi there. Someone further out. Hey, what are all those people doing? Huh? Ah. They're pulling in a net. I guess the fishermen must want to get some work done before the bathers get here. I never expected fishermen to be working their nets on a resort beach. Good morning. Sure. They're pulling them up. They must have a big catch. That bird is enjoying the leftovers. It's a pelican. Here's another one. Oh, he ate it. Here comes another one. That work takes a lot of strength. Whoa, look at that. The ocean around Acapulco sure has a lot of fish. Oh, look how they glitter. I wonder what kind of fish they are. You caught a lot of fish. Does everyone share the catch? Worth a lot of money? Huh? Really? What a shame you can't eat them. You caught so many. Hey, little girl, you can't eat that fish. Too many bones. Ah, these must be the fish they can sell. Look at them jump. Thanks for letting me watch. Lots of birds gathering. The bony fish become bird food, huh? You'd think they could be deep fried in oil or something. Seems such a waste. Well, I guess I'll head into town. I see cars running behind the palm trees. Think I'll take a look. The sidewalk's pretty wide here. What's with the beach umbrellas? Are they selling something? Oh, fish! These look like they just came fresh out of the water. Those fishermen must have come here with their catch. Good morning, hiya! A fisherman, perhaps? 
I see you have a lot of fish. Mm. They would make fine sashimi. Ah, he's preparing them for customers. Mm. Ah, a customer. They look good. Ah, el pescado blanco. Ah, frito. I see. Con salsita y al este al mojo de ajo. Riquísimo. I bet. Thanks for talking with me. Gracias. Goodbye. Fish and hot red pepper. Well, after all, this is Mexico. Everyone's in the shade. The sunlight's really strong. I've come to the harbor. Let's see, where's my map? I came from the beach where they were fishing and walked along the big road. Now I'm here near the old part of town. The streets look like a maze. I think I'll go in. It's just across the street there, but how do I get across? There's no signal, and the traffic's pretty heavy. Careful there, sir. Oh, thanks. Watch out, it's dangerous. He's making the car stop. Ah, thanks. It takes courage to cross the street here. Oh, I get it. The red part of the street is a crosswalk. Ah, thank you. Sorry to trouble you. Thanks for your help. I really appreciate it. Tengan cuidado con el tráfico. Los semáforos no sirven. Hay mucho tráfico. Es peligroso. Por favor, tengan cuidado aquí. Bienvenidos. Gracias. I will. Thank you very much. Oh, what a kind man. So this is a plaza, an old town. Look at all the people in the shade. According to my guidebook, Acapulco has a tropical climate. It's always hot and humid except during the rainy season. Hmm, tropical, huh? Hello, how are you? Hi there, young lady. <laughs> Whoa, no shirt. What's that high bench with a canopy? Ah, a shoe shine stand. Hmm, he doesn't have any customers, so he's shining his own shoes. Keep up the good work. All of those cars look alike. Are they taxis? Here's another one. It's an old Volkswagen Beetle. Still going strong. I'm seeing more and more shops. What are they selling at this street stand? Sweets? Fruit? Hi, how are you? Okay, okay, okay. Let's see, corn and fruit? Ah, uh, here's a shop selling eyeglasses. Uh, there sure are a lot of them. Huh? These look like wedding dresses. Not all of them are white. Some of them are very colorful. There's another dress shop next door. Pink, blue, Purple? This one with the fancy color. Is it a wedding dress too? Oh, uh, hello. May I ask you something? Buenas tardes. Are all of these colorful dresses wedding dresses? 
No, es de 15 años. 15th birthdays. Este, aquí en, en Acapulco, este, Acapulco Guerrero, México, se puede decir, este, tenemos esta tradición de que las niñas cuando cumplen 15 años se les hace su fiesta de 15 años, entonces ellas se visten así con este vestido. En la pastelería que está aquí. Oh, it makes special cakes for the event. En este. I'd like to see. Sí, claro que sí, claro que sí, en la, en la pastelería Peter Pan. Allá. Sí, well, I'm sorry to trouble you while you're working. <laughs> Whoops, there's no traffic signal here either. Ah, more Beetle taxis. So girls become adults here at age 15, huh? That's pretty early compared to some places. Hey, isn't this a clothing store? Looks like we're going in. Wait, it just keeps on going. So does this mean this is an alley? Oh, here. These cakes are as colorful as the dresses. Mire, por ejemplo, este es un pastel para los para quinceañera, para quince años. Este. Oh, oh yes, please. It, it is a little dark. Estos son los pasteles tradicionales, pues, para la fiesta de quince años. Y este, estos son los que se llevan a la fiesta. Oh, he meant the light on the cake, with a fountain and everything. It looks like a wedding cake. And all of these, too. They're gorgeous. Eh, sí, pues eh, muchas veces este, los 15 años oscilan hasta en 50 mil pesos. Ya con salón, con vestidos, con el pastel, con los invitados. Y se arma una, una pachanga en grande. Oh, it sí. must be expensive for families to foot the bill. Did you have a big party too? Eh, bien. Pues igual me hicieron mi fiesta, ¿no? Este con vestido, este hubo baile, mi pastel, grupo musical y este y pues toda la gente este especial, ¿no? Reunida, los más cercanos. Sí. Oh, didn't your parents cry because of the expense? Eh, no, estaba llorando de felicidad de que estaba cumpliendo 15 años. <laughs> of course. Well, thank you for spending time with me. No, para nada. Estamos para servirle. Que les vaya bien. Hasta luego. Goodbye. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Those cakes were amazing. I wonder if people actually eat them. Why Tarzan, you ask? Why, that's because one of the former owners of this hotel was Johnny Weissmuller, who played Tarzan in the movies. This is Memory Hall, which commemorates all the great stars who stayed here. This is where they could relax and revitalize themselves away from the public eye. Weissmuller himself enjoyed the climate and natural features of Acapulco and spent his last years here. They say he loved to watch the sunset over the Pacific. 
Here's something else he loved, a Coco Loco cocktail. It's made from coconut milk and five different kinds of liquor. The name Coco Loco means crazy coconut, by the way. Come on down to Acapulco and feel like a famous movie star of yesteryear. I'll just have a sip or two while I wait for you to arrive. Mmm, delicious! It's one o'clock. I came out of the plaza, saw the dress and cake shops, and entered a residential district. Now I'm here. Hey, there's someone up there on that building. Hello. Ah, the sun's so bright. The shadows are etched clearly on the road. Is that a trumpet I hear? It sounds like someone's practicing. Ah, there's a mural. I think I'll go this way. Hi there. I wonder who this is. Ah, there's that trumpet again. It seems to be coming from inside there. I hear a guitar, too. This seems to be a small shop. I wonder what he sells. Mmm, they look like snacks of some kind. Hello. I hear someone practicing music inside there. Uh, sorry, what, what's that? Mexican music. I see. Where are they playing? Uh, uh, sorry, which door? Sorry to bother you. Thanks. I'll take a look. Ah, there they are. Ah, they noticed me. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt your practicing. Hola. Uh, I could hear you playing. Hola. Sorry to barge in like this. Hello. Buenas tardes. How are you? You guys sound great. Ensayando, eh, estudiando. Oh, with that man in there? Con mis tíos, con mi grupo. Do you mind if I listen? Está ahí arriba. Vamos por él. I guess they rehearse upstairs. I hope they don't mind if I watch for a while. Thank you. I guess they don't mind. <laughs> okay, thanks. I see. Hello. No shirt, I see. Maybe this is his uncle's room. Ya estaba dormido. Poco. Venga, se vamos a ensayar. Ensayar ya. Sounds like he was having a siesta. Sí estaba dormido. Que me estaba durmiendo así. Hello. Wow. No shirt here either. I wonder if a lot of the residents here play mariachi music. 
Do you mind if I come in? Thank you. Wow, purple walls. Pardon me, I, I'm sorry I woke you from your nap. Sorry, uh, but isn't it time for you to practice? Where do you usually rehearse? Oh. Ah, there's the man from downstairs. Where are they going? What? They practice in the alley? The neighbors don't mind? They sing, too. Ah, the uncles put on a T-shirt. People just walk on through, an everyday kind of thing. Hey, where did this guy come from? And another. There's another guitar player. And another. Bravo! That was wonderful! Uh, do you all live here in the neighborhood? Cerca, aquí en esta zona. Oh, is that right? Sí, muchos mariachis. Muchos mariachis. You mean there are even more? Hay que ver como unos 20 o 30 mariachis. 30? Where do you usually play? Normalmente, solamente, ahora sí que en eventos, bodas, 15 años. Ah, the 15 años. Bautizos, cumpleaños, festejos. Wow, pretty busy. Ahí esperando, ahí en Avenida Cuauhtémoc, ahí esperamos que caiga un cliente o algo. I see. Well, it was a wonderful performance. Thank you. Arigato, arigato, arigato. Ah, ah, sounds Japanese. Thank you. It was a real pleasure. Thank you, too. Take care now. Bye. That was really great. A live street performance played by an authentic mariachi band. Hi, I'm Sandy, and I love to walk around town eating good food. I'll show you my favorite treats in Acapulco. Come on! Favorite number three is something everyone knows, tacos! A national dish in Mexico. It's made of a corn tortilla with your choice of filling. My favorite filling is cactus. It has a crisp, succulent taste that's perfect on a hot day. Mmm, delicious! I'll have another, please! Tamale. Favorite number two is the home-cooked flavor of tamale sold by street vendors. Inside the banana leaf we have steamed corn dough stuffed with chili sauce and other goodies. No 
I can never lose weight like this. And now for number one. This is something to enjoy on the beach. Uh, excuse me, over here. I recommend hikama, a sort of sweet turnip look-alike. Eat it Acapulco style with lots of chili pepper. It's fantastic. Mm. It's all waiting for you when you come to visit my city, Acapulco. Adios! It's 2.30. I'm on a very steep hill. What is that man dragging behind him? Let's see, I heard the mariachi band in that residential area and just followed the street from there. Now, I'm here. Whatever it is that man is pulling, it looks big and heavy. It must be hard to get it up this hill. Ah, oh, he stopped. Taking a little rest in the shade, eh? Good idea. Pardon me while I go around you. I could use some shade myself. That looks like a lively street where it comes out there. Is it a shopping district? Excuse me. Huh? What's going on over there? I have to be fearless when I cross. Excuse me, coming through, thanks. Uh-oh, two taxis have had an accident. The one in back must have rammed the one in front. I bet they're not happy. Take it easy now, boys. Uh-oh. But they don't seem angry or ready to fight. What? He's going. They must have resolved the problem. But wait, the hood on this taxi. Now it won't close properly. Are you all right? It kind of looks like a problem to me. No, ahorita lo arreglamos. Vamos al taller. I was talking about your body, not the cars. Are you okay? Oh well, goodbye. I guess he's okay, yeah. Take it easy now, drive carefully. I'll just keep going this way. Excuse me, I'm crossing. Sorry. Thanks. I'm getting pretty good at crossing the street. After climbing the hill, I came out in the shopping district where I saw the accident. Now I'm on the east side of town about here. What's that car doing parked there? That's an accident waiting to happen. That girl's got something dragging along behind her. A rope or something. That could be dangerous if someone stepped on it. Uh, excuse me. Hello, excuse me. There's something dragging behind you there. Did you know? 
Uh, no, what I meant was it's dangerous to walk around like that. Shouldn't you wind it up? What is that rope, anyway? Or is it an electric cord? Uh, is that a cord that you use to fix electrical equipment? An electrical cord? No. What? Chairs you sit on? Asiento. You make chairs out of that cord? A customer? Uh, may I come along and watch? Sí. Thanks. Interesting. So they weave chairs out of rope, huh? I wonder how they do it. This must be the place. So this is a rope chair. I see. They tie the rope around an iron frame. If the rope sags or breaks, it can be replaced to make the chair just like new. The boy is handling the weaving. He knows what he's doing. Uh, are you brother and sister? Si. Do you two always work together? Juntos. And does your work keep you busy? A veces. I see. How many chairs have you fixed today? That's a lot. That chair looks nice and cool. Pues no tiene un significado en especial, pero ahora sí que este para descansar nada más. Yo de hecho los negocios lo ocupamos para que el cliente, el cliente este espere el trabajo ahí. Wow. While we were talking, he finished. Amazing, it looks fantastic. Comfortable. He says he's happy. Good job. Ah, the cashier seems happy. They drive a hard bargain. Hey, what's wrong? You look tired. Well, you have done eight chairs today. Well, you do good work. You're very skillful. Hey, that's great. No wonder in this heat. You should take a break. Well, take care. Goodbye. Wow, those siblings really get along. Thank you. Thanks. They have quite a few chairs for customers. Ah, this one needs repair too. 
A young brother and sister out and about fixing chairs. There's something strong and healthy about that. Yo, I'm a man among men, Ricardo. Do you know where this is? Just take a look. We're on top of Acapulco's famous La Quebrada Cliff. At 35 meters, it's as high as some eight-story buildings. I and my amigos risk our lives entertaining people by diving. Diving used to be a test of nerve for fishermen, but now it's Acapulco's most famous attraction. Many tourists come to see our thrilling show. This inlet isn't that deep. Four meters at full tide and only three meters when the tide's out. You have to be able to read the wind and the tides and know how to move when you hit the water. Without those skills, you could be killed. As soon as we hit the water, we roll onto our backs. This technique isn't easy. Brian here is training by diving from halfway up the cliff. He's been studying with me for three years, but he hasn't overcome his fear yet. Listen, Brian, the important thing is to become one with nature. Feel the wind and harmonize your heart with the pounding of the waves. Understand? I'll show you, so watch carefully. My friends, you're really missing something if you don't come to see the tough divers of Acapulco. We'll be waiting. The sun has started to go down. It's just after five o'clock. I've come from the place I met the chair repair kids, and now I'm back in Old Town. Wow, these guys sure look snazzy in their fancy clothes. This one, too. Hello, how are you? Hey, they're dressed up, too. What's going on? I hear a trumpet. Of course, mariachi. There they are. I guess if they're still standing around, they haven't found work yet. Hi. Hi, baby. We meet again. So this is where you go when you're looking for work. And these are your mariachi clothes? <laughs> ah, the trumpet player. I hardly recognized you. You look sharp. You sure do. And you all have matching outfits. They sort of smooth away those round bellies you have. <laughs> so, how are your prospects for work today? Tomorrow's winds blow tomorrow. Wise words. Good luck to you. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. Another taxi in trouble. But this time it looks like a breakdown, not an accident. 
The shops have closed. I guess I'll go down to the beach to feel the sea breeze. The beach was fairly quiet this morning, but there are lots of people here now. <laughs> There's someone buried in the sand. Isn't she hot under there? Hello. Hola. Estamos cargando energías musculares. Así. I'm sure it's very effective. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Well, it's evening, but lots of people are here. And these folks are taking photos. Her dress is so fancy. Hello. Uh, is today a special day? Monday. Well, you seem to be taking a, a special sort of photo, so I thought... Ah, 15 años. Congratulations. Gracias. So, will you have a big celebration with a dress, cake, and party? Ah, sí. Sí, sí, es una fiesta costosa, pero para celebrarles una forma de decirle a, a, a los hijos lo mucho que, que los queremos, lo mucho que, este, que está en nuestro corazón y que nos desprendemos de cualquier cosa por su bienestar, ¿no? Es un, una especie de mensaje en ese sentido. Ah, I see. Well, thanks for talking with me. Goodbye. Parents who are full of love for their daughter, I'm sure it will be a warm and festive party. Huh, that woman's walking this way with something on her head. What do you have there? Quesadilla. You're working hard. A las ocho de la mañana. How are sales today? Más o menos. And you're still selling? Hasta que termino. Las seis, siete, ocho, hasta que termino de vender. Well, I hope you sell them soon. Sí, sí. Take care. Goodbye. Working since eight this morning in the hot sun. I wonder how many times she walked across the beach today. But she had a nice, fresh smile. is bathed in sunset colors. Ah, there go some kids running. I wonder how many times they'll cross the beach. <laughs> 